If you purchase any profile bits to make like picture frames, moldings, or whatever the case may be, you need to make some profile samples. I'll show you what I mean next. I'm Rick, and this... Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. <laughs> this is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. Um, yeah, here, all over. It's just, I've been out here in shop, so I apologize ahead of time. But I wanted to do this video. I've been doing a little experimentation out here today. I finished up all my cutting boards. Basically, the very the first large project on my table saw, cutting that eight quarter lumber. Learn a few things about the table saw and about saw blades. Put links to a couple of those things up there if you want to check them out. A couple of things I need to do. This will be coming out in, this is September. Christmas is just around the corner. I'm going to be making some picture frames for family because my grandmother's 100th birthday and her 102nd birthday. Even though they had pictures, I want to blow them up nice 8 by 10s and I'm going to make some nice picture frames and give them to them. And that way we all have a nice picture of this monumental event. I mean, my grandmother's still kicking. She's literally on two, not even, I wouldn't say medication. She's got a blood thinner because of her age, of course, 102. I mean, she's, and um, she has, I don't want to say acid reflux, but she give, they give her one of those because sometimes she gets a little up to the stomach with what she eats. Just not handling the stuff like they used to anymore. But hey, again, 102, and that's all you take. I love you, Grandma. That's fantastic. I pray I get just a touch of them genes that I can last and be that healthy. But we'll see. Time will tell. So in February, she's going to be 103, still kicking. But I want to make some nice picture frames, and that's why I purchased this set from Infinity. The reason I, I purchased this set because it was a collection of five bits and a stepped rabbiting bit. been experimenting with some different mixtures of the profiles and I came up with a couple I really like now if you have any bits and you have profiles I highly 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 recommend that you run six inch piece of material through so you have a visual of that profile and I'm going to bring up here I'm going to start go through these a little bit and I'll show you exactly what I mean but it is it is a great reference point and it gives you a visual you can actually lay down look at it and see which ones you like so let me readjust the camera and I'm going to come up here I'm going to show you now, in the video I referenced up there, um, I really didn't do the profiles justice. I needed a little bit more. And when I was thinking about it, I decided I had some scrap pine. You don't want to use anything expensive. Just, you just want a reference piece. So I got a piece of pine. This is three inches. And the reason I chose three inches because this is the width of frame I'm going to make my for my vintage slate chalkboard. It's Four, four feet by five feet. It's a big chalkboard. So I think a three inch frame is going to be perfect because it is so big. Um, so I chose this three inch pine. And that way I could try uh, different profiles on either end and get an idea. So this was the one I, I liked that in my samples. This is the 517. That's this one. And these are 56 517. So I'll just say 517. So when I ran it, Flipped it over, ran it again. I came up with this and I like this because I'm going to daddle this section out and I think I'm, I already have the wood. I, I'm thinking maybe now I probably should have tried uh, cherry, but just because the blackboard is dark, a, a white or a light colored frame I think would look better and having the accent piece. If I would have had, this would be almost like the same color as a as a cherry and then put a walnut or even I'm thinking purple heart inlay in here would be a very nice accent but because I put in I already purchased the wood it's a light colored walnut it's not a dark walnut I don't know I'm, I'm still thinking of purple heart but I may just put a piece because I have a, a spare piece over here 
I may just put that up next to it and see how I like it. I may end up having to buy a piece of cherry so it's a lighter color and inlay that. I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work yet, but we'll see. <clears throat> but this gives me a very good idea. I firstly need a visual. So I ran this on both sides and I offset the difference and I ran it again. So I could either have the, a less of a lip down here, higher lip here, or vice versa, or even it. I mean, you can set these to any depth, height, and you can change the bottom part of the profile to your liking. So that was one, but a little bit longer. So I cut the rest of these down about six inches, and that's this one. This is, and I got it up here. This is the 500, this is the 02 or 03 500. I'll have links to everything in the description below. Uh, this is the edge beading bit, and it gives you a little round over. And again, this depth right here, let me get this out so I can point. This edge, depending on how deep you set it, shallow or low, you can extend this or thin it down. It just depends on you. Now the bottom one, this is the 56-516. And I like the 516 because the bottom here, depending on how you set the depth of the routing bit, you actually get a 45 chamfer. That's why I'm going to uh, make my picture frames out of. I like this one profile, but I experimented and tried a few others, and I got one to match that I'm gonna put, put up here, and I'll show it later. In the other video, I didn't show you stepped rabbiting bit. This is it. This is where the picture and your glass would go. And this is the backing you put on it and put your little uh, staples, what do you want to call, to hold the backing in. This is backer board that I use in a lot of stuff. And that's about the thickness of your plexiglass or if you go to the store and buy picture frame glass, it's thin, it's already preset. So the first step is already preset. It will either take plexiglass or glass, picture glass, because it's thin. Now once you have that sitting in there, then you would use this backing board to set in there. It doesn't matter the depth here because this, with this profile, I may even want to take this down another 16th or so, deepen it a little bit. So this doesn't matter. This will always be the same. It will be preset for the glass, or plexiglass, glass, whatever. And just the depth of this really doesn't matter because once you put this in, you got enough room to put some nails in to hold it. What you want is to determine the thickness of this ridge here from the glass to your frame and to your profile. This, I would probably go to about right there and I would like it. I would cut that much more off, so I'd probably go close to, I don't know, maybe an eighth, maybe a little bit less. I would just inch it up till I got where I thought I liked the profile because this is a little thick right there. I mean, it could work depending, but if it's a smaller frame, I'd want less. But that gives you an idea of what that step rabbiting bit looks like. So this is where your glass picture go. This is where the backing goes to hold it all in. A little reference, what it looks like. And then once you get your glass stuff in, you put your backing in, easy. So that's what the backing looks like. I wanted to run that through just so I have a visual so I could see. And then I went to the other ones. This is the 515, 517. And on this one, depending on the depth, you want the bottom here. Once I ran this, I actually had to bust off. I had a little feathering of the material sitting. I had to break it off. So in that case, I would have adjusted the bit, go down just a little bit more to take that away so I have a clean cut all through here without having this little edge because I had to break off the feathering. And on this one, both sides, four different things. Um, this is the five, 517, 516, 45 chamfer here, flip it around. This is the 517 bit. You got that little lip here. And again, I had just a little bit of feathering. So I would, I would, after the practice cut, I would lower it down a little, take away from that. So it's got a straight thing. Cause actually I think, yeah, right here, when I, when I broke the feathering off, it chipped off a little bit of the, of the wood. 16, I like, and you could either look at it like this and cut this out and inlay a piece. So you have two different things on here. If I was to do this, I think because of the edge here I would probably use this as the inner and this is the outer because it's got that little ridge here so it'll be like the uh, support of the frame on the outside and this chamfer edge here would kind of go in seem like it'd be a smooth transition to the picture in here 
So this would be a good size pitcher frame. Step the rabbiting bit, you'd probably go to about here. I'd probably cut it up to that depth. But that way you can kind of get an idea, two different profiles. If you like the center section, you could actually paint this like a gray and paint this, this, this uh, stripe black or paint the frame black and this gray. I mean, you could paint it a color or something and leave this natural. I mean, there's so many options, things you could do. This gives you a, another alternative to decorating. And I did another one here. This is the 516 bit on both ends. It's got the chamfered on both edges. And you got a, this is a one inch wide. I could actually daddle something dead center here and put an inlay so this profile comes up. Got the flat wood, different color wood in here, three quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch on this side, eighth of an inch on this side, three quarter of an inch daddo down the center with a different color wood. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different options. I mean, just so many things that you could try and do. So after all the experimentation, this is what I came up with. Where's my numbers? Right there. This side is the 515. The chamfered edge is the 516 bit. I think I'm going to keep this the outside. This is going to be the inside. These are going to be the picture frames that I'm going to make for my family in Christmas. Um, this section right here is where both profiles meet. You, this top right here is just like this. It's a flat cut. So the top profile is depending on how you want to do this. You can open it up a little bit, a little bit of play and not a whole lot. You could thin this out, bring it a little bit more this way, you have less of a ridge right here and have more just profile round over. And you could have this flat area here a little bit wider. I chose to have a little bit of a, of a ledge here just to, pro, to accent the profile on the outside. Both pieces meet right here in the middle. That's this, the 516 on this side with that chamfered edge. I, I just like that. That's going to be a good picture frame right there. I like the profile. And that is two bits combined to make one profile. That's why I say make you some visual samples of your profiles. Then you can lay them out and start mix matching and see which ones you like. And make sure they're the same thickness so they're all the same height so you can make sure that they are level each other. And of course, these are not. <laughs> some of them are. But you could make one like that. Full, I think this is the, the quarter inch bit, the full edge beating bit. And it's got that rounded center in. That is not a bad little profile there. I mean, there's so many things you could do, but it will save you a whole lot of time setting these out, going through them, mix matching them, trying to get one that you like versus trying to figure out, do I like this one just by looking at the bit himself. This gives you a great visual, and I think it will immensely help me when it comes time to mix matching them, and I can see the profiles I like, and I think, you know what, I'm gonna like this one better for that project. I'm gonna like this one better for that, for the other project. It just gives me good visual and I can see, depending on what I'm gonna be making it for, what it's gonna be framing, what I'm gonna like the profile to be. Don't be shy, try it, mix and match, go crazy, see what you can create, see what you come up with. You might just have a very appealing profile with a couple of bits put together, like that or that. Both of them I like. So don't be shy and try it. I hope this helps. We are done. I really like this one. And again, that's why I say make you some references. I laid them out and I was kind of liking, I kind of like the way these two look together. And then it just depends on the thickness of material, how you want them to join. And again, this one is right here in this little slot area here. That's where the two profiles meet. And it, I mean, I do, I really like this. This one I'm going to do for the picture frames. I think this is gonna be the first few I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this profile. I need this. I can't look at the bit and say, oh, I like that profile because it doesn't do nothing looking at that. I have to see what it looks like on the wood. I, I know that some people have put it out there and done it, but I'm just re, reaffirming that. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it is a good idea and it gives you a visual that will definitely help you mentally see something because I just can't look at a bit and think, yeah, I like that one, or I like this one. I look at that bit and like, yeah, it looks all right. Unless I run it through a piece of wood, I don't really know how I'm gonna like it lengthwise. This shape may look all right, but until I do this, I may not like it. 
I needed that, that gives me a visual. Infinity's fine, you're gonna like them. There's not that I don't like Infinity. My big thing is where they're made, and I'll just leave it at that. I will buy American made first over anything if I can't find it, and if it's something I'm going to use a couple of times, so that's why I bought these. They had them in the bundle. I didn't have to go through all the different ones in white side. So it kind of, they kind of did some of the thinking for me and put this together and I appreciate that. That gives me a good visual. And now I have them down here, I like them. Now I can go to white side and I can look at this one and say, you know what, I kind of like that style. So they have one maybe a little bit different. I'm still gonna like it because I like this profile. So little variations here and there, I'm still going to like. I think now that I've done this, it gives me a good visual. I'm thinking I wanna make some more and make more picture frames. I hope this helps in some way. Quick little video. If you have profile bits, you should have a stack of profiles matching them, writing on there, getting some type of a reference number or something so you know what bit did what. So you, when it comes time, you can put these together. Like, yeah, uh, okay, so I'm gonna get these two bits and go at it, save you time, you don't have to test this one, test that one, do this one, do that one, try this, try that. You already got a visual, you put them together, you like it, grab those two, boom, done. A lot of extra steps saved. That's why I say make you some visual samples of your profiles. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, take back your heck. Build it for your sanity. We will see you next video. I like that one. <laughs> I can't wait to make these.